Hi guys, welcome back to About Archie. Of course, I'm Archie and I, I'm the old guy on the internet. So what we're here today to talk about is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And uh, well, we won't get into blockchain too much because that'll just confuse everybody if you're not familiar with what it is. But we're here to talk about Bitcoin. The Really, the specific question is, should you be getting involved in Bitcoin? Should you be buying some of this stuff? So... Bitcoin's been around for a little over a decade now. When it started out, the stuff was essentially worth zero dollars per Bitcoin. It was really only of interest to a bunch of programmers who were into the code and some nerds who found it fascinating that uh, somebody had created this digital currency that could become a thing. And But as for the rest of the world, nobody really paid much attention. I think I heard something uh, about it just because I'm interested in a little bit in technology and the internet and computers and so on. But I really didn't give it a second thought. I thought it was something for gamers. But as this progressed and it evolved, it didn't go away. And around 2017, it actually got up to the point where it was worth about uh, at one point, I think, in and around $20,000 a coin. Uh, there were a lot of nerds got really, really rich. So it was about that time that I got curious enough that I thought, I'm just going to see if I can figure out what this stuff is, buy a little bit of it, see what it's about. So I took a bit of cash, a small amount I got from selling off some tech or something, and, and I figured out how to buy this, and I bought a little bit of it, and I played around with it, and, and then I lost, started to lose interest, and I sold it off, made a few bucks, nothing extraordinary, but a few dollars, and, uh, and I carried on. But... I left a bit of pocket change behind, something less than I think a hundred bucks uh, in this uh, currency. And so when Bitcoin, it faded, the price faded way back to I think about 4,000 from 20,000 ish. And, uh, and I sort of forgot about it and didn't think about it. But then, of course, recently, as you probably know, it came back on the scene in a big way. Not only had it surpassed that 20,000, but it was hitting huge numbers again, numbers that people had been talking about who were fans of Bitcoin and other people had been laughing at them. Certainly all the institutions, as they began to hear about it, uh, the big uh, financial institutions and so on and so forth, said it's, it's, it's nonsense, it's not real, it's not going to happen. Um, it's just uh, this passing joke, this fad. Well, anyway, it not only surpassed that 20,000, of course, if you've been watching the news, it shot up and eventually it peaked out at around, or so far peaked out at about 65,000 a coin. Those nerds got richer. What was, what was different this time was it wasn't just the nerds buying it. Now suddenly it was getting the attention of all these financial institutions, all these people who'd been saying and these institutional leaders who'd been saying that th this stuff was nonsense. They were now getting in on the action. Uh, there's been ETFs in Canada and the United States have been opened up based just on uh, on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Uh, there have been uh, Coinbase, as you've probably heard, has uh, recently gone. This is an exchange. Don't worry about it if you don't know what an exchange for cryptocurrency is. Uh, I've got something for you in a following video and that'll be very clear. But uh, ex an exchange, Coinbase, uh, was listed on, I believe it's a NASDAQ. Uh, it's it's getting a lot of attention. Of course, you couldn't have missed that Elon Musk bought $1.5 billion worth of this stuff. So this is no longer a joke. Nation states all over the world are taking it very seriously. So let's be clear about one thing. The blockchain that this, the technology that is that this is based on is probably one of the greatest inventions in history. Uh, it is not going away. Cryptocurrencies are absolutely not going away. It would take destruction of civilization, I think, to get rid of this stuff now. Crypto, the only question really is, is how will this all wash out? There are pros and cons to it. You've probably heard things how, about how Bitcoin is uh, and cryptocurrencies are a decentralized form of uh, asset. And that's another side note. 
People, some people want to call it a currency, but at this point, it's really more of an asset, like a commodity. You're not so much going, you can, but it's not a, a case where you're just walking into any store yet and whipping out your iPhone and buying whatever you want with it. That very well will likely evolve over time, but right now it's more like a commodity, something you buy, you hold, and you sell, um, and trading it in and out of fiat currency, normal currency, normal money. So... This is not going away. Like I say, governments, uh, states, institutions are scrambling to see how it fits in. As I said, it's a decentralized currency, so no one person can control it and influence it. That is both a wonderful thing in the uh, form of it's a democratic type of, uh, of currency, or, well, I just said it wasn't a currency, didn't I? But a democratic uh, form of uh, um, storage of value uh, that is controlled by the individuals, not by an institution or a government. At the same time, there is a risk that this could destabilize economies because uh, the governments use currency controls um, and techniques to try to keep inflation down and so on and so forth. So this will all have to be figured out. But as I said, it's got to be figured out, but it's not going away. Governments like China now have our, China was sort of in the forefront where they've now got the digital yuan. It's a Chinese form of currency, digital currency, um, and other countries are looking at this hard. Uh, other countries are freaking out like Turkey, which is trying to ban it. Um, not a, not a great move, I don't think, which, but if you look at Turkey's economy, you kind of get it. They've made a lot of, they're in a bit of a tough spot right now because they're not making some good good decisions I guess but anyway so back to the original question should you or should you not buy Bitcoin well here's what I would say I wouldn't say what you should do period that is up to you this of course is strictly what I'm doing and how I see it and what my opinion is you have to take in the information and make a decision for yourself but cryptocurrency is not going away. Bitcoin is likely not going away for a very long time. In my opinion, there is certainly a chance for a likelihood even that there will be large, uh, additional large run-ups. There will be volatility. And as people are very fond of saying, don't put cash or, or uh, money into uh, cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin, that you're not prepared to see wash away. So like in my case, I don't put money in there that's my foundational money that is going to help me to retire or that is going to uh, put food in my mouth. I take some, let's call it fun money, let's call it speculative money because at this point I don't believe uh, you have your, your uh, pyramid or whatever you want to call it of starting with saving and then investing and then in speculating and gambling. I don't think Bitcoin is gambling, but I don't, I think it's just barely into investing as maybe hedges more towards speculation. So you don't want to put your core, fa your core capital in there, your core net worth. But I'm taking a little bit of that sort of on the edge money that I want to have a little fun with and take a chance on. And I bought a little bit of Bitcoin. I put a small, maybe, I don't know, 1% or something of my net worth, uh, of our net worth into, uh, into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Whatever you do, you have to decide for yourself. But as I said, I don't believe this is going away. I believe there is a substantial likelihood that there will be larger and larger uh, run-ups in it. So give that some thought. Do a little bit of homework on your own. Uh, decide if you do or don't want to get in. Either way, it's going to be an entertaining ride. Uh, it'll be fun to watch history unfold. Uh, think about this as, a, as one last thought. Everything, what hasn't become digital? It started out with your grocery list and different documents, and then businesses took it on for storing uh, uh, various documents went digital, then music went digital, and on and on it's gone. Why wouldn't money go digital? In, in fact, I kind of see it as digital now to a great extent anyway. It's just not digital in the form of being stored on the blockchain. And this blockchain, well, you can learn about it if you want on your own or leave me a note and I will try to do a, uh, a simplified explanation of what blockchain is for you. If you'd like to hear that, put it in the comments. <clears throat> it's time for currency to go digital. It's just a matter of will governments 
I believe that what will happen is governments will run their own centralized currency right alongside decentralized currencies. See how it goes now. Here's the, here's the final and really possibly for some of you the most important question. Let's say you decided, okay, I got 500 bucks or 5,000 bucks or whatever you might have, and I want to buy a little Bitcoin just to get in on the action and avoid a little FOMO, fear of missing out, uh, and say, yeah, well, to your grandchildren, I was there and I participated, right? Say you do want to do this. How do you go about doing this? Back when I first did it, it was quite complicated, quite tricky, and in fact, it still can be. If you go on the internet and try and figure it out, there's a lot of noise, a lot of confusion, and a lot of opinions, and unfortunately, too many out there from people who all they know how to say is HODL, HODL. HODL is H-O-D-L. It stands, it's uh, sort of the word hold spelt wrong, and kind of means buy cryptocurrency, buy Bitcoin, hold it for the long term, which maybe isn't a bad idea, but a lot of the people out there who are giving out information don't know anything about just to say HODL. Go out, educate yourself a little bit, come back here, I'll try to continue to educate me. If you have specific questions, put them in the comments and I will try to address them. But as I said, the most important question maybe for you now is how do I buy this stuff? And so I am going to give you, I am going to remove as much of the noise as I can and give you a simple method for getting your hands on some.